One morning, we decided to go on the journey to the Amazon's heart. Our idea was to get a pretty cheap flight to Iquitos and from there take a boat to the peruvian brazilian border, Santa Rosa in Peru and Tabatinga in Brazil, and then to Manaus. So, after one farewell week in Mancra, we faced long running desert roads with soundtrack of our ringing camping cups. Firstly, we took the night bus to the city called Pura and took our first flight to Lima. From Lima, we had one hour 20 minutes flight to Iquitos, the heart of Peruvian jungles. After the desert, we were very happy to finally dive in the diversity of blooming life. We spent two nights and two days in Iquitos. Colonial buildings, blooming nature, beautiful promenade, modern cafes and a huge amount of tour agencies. That's the one eye of Iquitos. Dirt, drugs and visible bones of the permanently hungry bodies, that's the other eye. To see the whole face of the city, you need to stand look of both of them. Still, we really enjoy the city, getting used to the heat of the sun and meeting with the child happiness unexpected rains. Iquitos gathers a lot of tourists and spiritual communities in the deep rainforest. On Monday, early in the morning, we started to hunt the tickets. Our plan was to find the big, cheap boat that travels for three days. Tickets for such boats can only be found at the ports of Masusa or Anza. You should come on board and talk to the captain himself. He will inform you what time the doors are open and you can come and find your spot for the hammock. Our boat costed 80 soles per person for two nights trip, including three meals per day, spot for the hammock and bathrooms. We arrived on our boat three hours before the departure, hoping to have a calm embark and to choose nice places for our hammocks. The boat had two floors and usually the second one is less crowded. Three hours of waiting were fulfilled by the noise of the port, food sellers, crying kids and screaming chickens from the roof of the neighbor's ship. The hot, wet air was bringing more and more people inside, so in the end the whole of our floor became very crowded. Finally, we departed after the sunset. Shower, night breeze and the brightest Milky Way cleaned our thoughts, surrounding our three hammocks with a bubble of calmness and running forward dreams. Morning on the ship starts early. The breakfast is served between 5 and 5.20. So take your cup of the oats and go to the open balcony to meet the rising sun and mysterious fog on the banks. Our boat was making a lot of stops in the small wild villages, opening our eyes wider and wider. It was that kind of journey that opens for you something dramatically new, something that you've never been touched by. It was our own discovery that we made in the most precious way. Latin America, like always, was teaching us how not to judge and take a side. We saw how the group of men was fighting with the huge bulls, trying to put them on the ship. They were hitting them with the sticks and pulling by the rings in their noses. We saw how the group of men was fighting with the wild jungles around that doesn't know mercy and just spin in their fast cycles of life. Peruvian villages mostly are very pure and badly maintained. People here were building houses knowing that one day river or forest will take them. We spent beautiful days on the boat, observing the landscapes, greeting the dolphins, reading, playing cards and taking showers every two hours. Our boat arrived to Santa Rosa on the next morning at 5. Not to the port, but just stopped near the bank of the river. So, from here you need to get a short boat ride to the entrance of the town. It will be your last point in Peru. Here is where you get stumped out of the country and only then you can cross the river to Brazil or Colombia. When you arrive to the Brazilian side, you need to go to the federal policy to get stumped in and you are welcome. 
Tabatinga is the first Brazilian city that meets you on the jungle border of Peru, Brazil and Colombia. It takes your eyes with diversity. First of all, diversity of faces, intonations and smiles. Tabatinga is much bigger compared to Santa Rosa, with a lot of cafes, shops, supermarkets and hostels. In one of them we stayed for a couple of days to have time to find our next boat to Manaus. We found out that only one company provides the boat to Manaus and they depart twice a week, Monday and Wednesday. In the port we were told that the gates for the embark opens at 10, but we decided to come earlier to avoid the queue. It was a good decision because even at 9.30 it was already lots of people with typical huge bags. The port in Tabatinga is a different reality compared to Masusa or Anza ports in Iquitas. It is a clean, spacious building with places to sit, office of federal policy where you need to check yourself to get on the board, nice bathrooms, drinkable water and kind workers. But the most surprising thing for us was the boat. It was a wide blue castle, bracing and moving. The boat was huge, first floor for the storage was an open long deck in the front. Second and third floors for the passengers with the private rooms, big areas for hammocks, kitchen and bathrooms, and fourth floor with the bar and open chill area under the sky. The price of the boat was 220 reais, which is 160 Peruvian soles, so two times higher price compared to Iquita Santa Rosa Way, but for the distance one grew three or four times and for, honestly, much better condition on board. It was equipped with 12 bathrooms on each floor and self-service kitchen that provides you with three meals per day and drinkable water. Make the note, if you are used to eat fruits, vegetables or light food, take them on board with you. We've got places on the third floor that wasn't crowded at all. The deck became our own hidden place of dances, meditations and quiet talks with the great river. Yoga on the sleeping bag, chairs on the balconies, searching for the constellations in the evening, and all of that surrounded by the ancient jungles and power of life itself. Brazilian jungle villages and towns were surprising us with the bright colors and active life. Here a lot of the settlements were floating on the water, not going deep inside of the forest. And in the same time beautiful towns were welcoming us inside, with the white streets going up and up by the red banks. All of them were well maintained and clean. Very suddenly, one day, small towns were replaced by a huge port, long different from the thousands of ship signals. There were no birds, and inside, the human roads were going farther and farther to the forest. We arrived in Manaus. <laughs> 